Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, if you would be so kind as to enter stage south, Willow evolved into Grovile. I dubbed the... Will Isle? It sounded a lot better in my head, like so many things do. And this time, we, well, okay, I guess I'm, I'm kind of glossing over the bigger of the two things that happened uh, in a literal sense. I'm sorry, Willow, but it is much bigger than you. We recruited the legendary Pokemon Zapdos to our team. And legendary Pokemon really are great. They come with their own friend camps. Annihilate 2 is what I name them. This friend camp is awfully special. This seems to be based on Pokemon 2000. Fire Island, Ice Island, and Island, and Lightning Island with the shrines that would have the orbs in them. I obviously can't prove if it is, but it just seems like such an uncanny resemblance, and clearly there's a spot for Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres to go here. We like it when you reference aspects of the extended universe Pokemon. We really do. I'd like it if you did these things a lot more often because it's great. On gigantic Pokemon, there's these icons to show if a move has more range than it typically does. And I think I'm just gonna give you some rainbow gummies. Well, maybe not rainbow gummies. I, I think I'll wait till I have a DX gummy. Mainly, I just wanna see if I can get a better rare quality on you. Willow, on the other hand, could use the higher stats a lot more and could also maybe use a rare quality. Oh, here we go. Barg. <laughs> you know what? I was wanting to show this off because I was saying it had a really good tactic with the Wigglytuff orb. Let's go for it. XP boost doesn't matter anymore as it, the uh, gains from level ups are just so tiny compared to using items on Pokemon, so we're not gonna worry about it. I'll save the rest of my three rainbow gummies and instead I'll go into Get Stronger. Two special attack ups for Chamomile. God, Annihilate 2 sounds like some kind of alternate form for Mewtwo in a bad fanfic. I'm so sorry you got stuck with that name. It was worse than I remembered it. PP up drink on Double Slap. And one on Blizzard as well. Over by the rescue team base, Metacham's got something for us, but uh, maybe she could use the exercise a little more than she could use us. Uh, we're just gonna have her running there in place, dancing until we wanna go take care of more story objectives, because we have a lot of things to do in other dungeons still. Brutal Swing TM. That would be nice to have on Absol. This is, I believe, yes, a dark type move damages all nearby enemies. If we can combine that with Swords Dance to create a new linked move, that could be a very powerful force. I'll take that right away. Now that Energy Ball's powered up, I've been considering doing this. I'm unsure because I just like having so many individual uses of being able to attack from far away. We'll try out linking Energy Ball with Dragon Breath as they have the same range and are useful in pretty much all the same situations. If we don't like it, we're doing weaker dungeons here today, so it's a good opportunity to test it out before the really hard stuff. I've given up on trying to turn back into a snubble. From now on, I'm living as a Gramble. Pleased to meet you. Your jaw muscles must get so tired from having to hold those things up all day. You wanna know something downright disappointing? Zapdos doesn't learn Thunderbolt through leveling up. It must be taught through a TM. As dismaying as that is, Discharge is still good. It damages all enemies within a room and a chance of paralysis. I think that'll do is just fine. For many years, countless Pokemon have served on rescue teams. Many have engraved their names in glory. But if anyone asks about the greatest of them all, there is but one hero. It's Lucario, whose exploits as a rescue leader are the stuff of legend. I aspire to become like Lucario, to become even closer to Lucario's greatness. That is my goal and my dream. Oh my, looks like there are so many Pokemon who need your help. Reading their messages, I can feel them long longingly waiting to, waiting to be rescued. Chamomile, Willow, I know it's tough, but good luck with your rescue work. My Team Hydro is bronze rank. We need to do better. Our Team Rumble Rock is famous for savagery. But 
We're actually only normal rank. It's an embarrassment. Darlings, I'll have you know that my team constrictor is actually silver rank. Not too bad, is it? We surprise people with our excellence. Silver rank's all you need, Octillery. I don't blame you, man. I, I would stay that rank forever if I didn't have to rank up. Oh, uh, okay. There was a job here called Smeargle's Desperate Plea. In Red and Blue Rescue Team, this is a rare event that will honestly almost never happen. I 100%ed everything else in the game before ever seeing this even one time. This is an important main story objective. Let's see what it says here. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Smeargle. I once had aspirations of becoming an artiste. Then one day, there was an incident of an unforgivable nature. I fled because I didn't want to get all all sticky. But then I lost my way. I now find myself in this forest, unable to extricate myself. I am lost in the howling forest. Somebody, please save me. Didn't want to get all sticky. What's that mean? I don't really get this. But let's go rescue this Smeargle anyway. The forest in which Smeargle is thought to gone missing... The Howling Forest, it's now open for exploration. This is yet another story arc that can be taken care of in any order that you wish. Um, Metacham is yet another one of those you probably have guessed by this point. I could go take care of that right now. Something I could do. Still plenty of dungeons open for us to explore. But for today, oh man, Tiny Woods has increased rewards, heck yeah. No, we're going to Mount Blaze because we have four jobs there and there is a strong boss fight there. Coming along with us is not Nightshade, but the one that I am so sorry to, Annihilate 2, you're coming with me. It's level 50, has some powerful moves, and is just going to do a lot of good in our fight against Moltres. Zapdos is wearing a power band for really lack of a better item, I guess. We're just going to depart into Mount Blaze. Get some moves trained up and just get a lot stronger in the process, training up for a fight with Moltres. What's really cool is that this is a gigantic Pokemon. That's right, you're awfully a big boy. Camera zooms out when controlling one of these, allowing for greater field of view. And this is just a really good example of moves having greater range because we are just so big and thus take up all the squares around where we would be standing anyway. Uh, I'll take that. Still have to be uh, sharing a tile with that if I want to pick that up. I'll go ahead and peck you. Good. God, I love the big yellow ball on the map. It just looks so silly compared to everything else. <laughs> uh, Slugma. Uh, here, let's peck ahead of me. Sorry, Chamomile. Didn't mean to launch that into your forehead, but we got the bad guy because of the shockwaves from it. Besides, your forehead's awfully hardy from everything that we've done. I guess you'd call it being headstrong. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, okay. Uh, no, not thunder. No, not thunder wave. Uh, I wanted it to show discharge. Go on, Zapdos, squirt your discharge all over the room. Hit him from far away, even. Projectile discharging is very powerful. Not to numble, though. It's immune to those. It's immune to such effects. Grown very numb to them, if you would say. Chamomile's got our back, though. Since we're here, I've gotten taken the liberty of withdrawing a lot of my money. And brought the Wigglytuff orb along for the ride. You hear Wigglytuff's voice. Welcome to Wigglytuff's camp corner. Which do you want to see? List of camps, please. Yes, bargain prices, just as I promised. These take a lot of the grind out of getting every single friend camp. I'm gonna grab Turtle Shell Pond as this has several Pokemon that can be in it. Ta! And we're free to buy as many of these as we want. Next up, I'll take the Decrepit Lab. Ditto can appear in some interesting places, and that just sounds fun to have. We're all good. Wigglytuff's voice disappeared. That sounds so dramatic. <laughs> if there's anything else going on, Alakazam's mention of Lucario being the greatest hero of them all. This is a reference back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and why is this not hitting? Ah uh, yes, Mystery Dungeon why is this not hitting, otherwise known as the first five hours of Gates to Infinity. 
This is a reference to Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team, where the highest rank that could be achieved for a rescue team was Lucario rank. Lucario was not obtainable in any Pokemon game at the time, so it was kind of special that you could really get anything that had to do with Lucario at the time. He was mainly a character shrouded in mystery. I think that the movie was just coming out that he was going to be starring in. It was kind of an exciting thing where a Pokemon that wasn't really out yet could kind of have a role in a game. Unfortunately, there is no such Lucario rank in this game, but, you know, it's kind of a nice callback to those days. Well, okay. I'll show that flying over lava, yes, you can do it, but you end up getting burned. And I believe that if we use a Rostberry, we would just get burned on the next turn anyway, so it's not worth doing. Just wanted to demonstrate that really quick, as I've mentioned it several times without actually doing it. For now, though, I'll meet you up at the top. Chamomile got a level up. Look how sad of a level up that is. Our speed is 69, though. Play Rupt. Uh, speaking of 69, this is a fairy-type move that could lower the enemy's attack. It's all right, I suppose. The problem with fairy types in this game is that they just tend to not really have a lot of range on them. And this is no exception. It's just a physical attack that hits in the front. It's nowhere near as good as double slap. Screw it. You want to know what is good, though? I failed to mention that I brought along the Thunderbolt TM. I think with Charge Beam just being used to cut corners, it's worn out its usefulness. Besides, it's already leveled up to level one and a half, roughly. Why not? Oh, uh, this is a good example of this. Zapdos was forced to spawn in a lava tile due to the random nature of this floor. It's not screwed that way. If I were to also push Zapdos and it would have to go into a lava tile, then it just teleports behind me. No worries about that big size getting awkward and getting status conditions that they have no control over. Oh, never mind. After thinking that it was all good and never having seen it before, it found a way. Guess the terrain has all the say in whether or not it gets a status condition. At least it won't get it upon spawning into a floor and that it is if you push it. Arcanine chose to join and had the rare quality Mind Over Matter. When a Pokemon steps on a Wonder Tile and its strength is restored, its bad conditions, such as being poisoned or burned, also heal. Rare qualities affect the entire team. Oh, are we here? Oh, halt! This is Mount Blaze. For you to venture onto its peak, there can be but one reason. You wanted to take a photograph of this scenic vista! I cannot allow such things! That'll be $5.99 plus tax. You've come to challenge me. So be it. I am the warrior of fire, Moltres. Have you what it takes to defeat me when I'm holding back nothing? Show me! How dare you photograph his wonderful home! <laughs> okay, Chamomile. Chamomile is our leader for this. I'm gonna chuck some grimy food into your mouth. See how you like this! Suck on it! Uh, okay, that was just belly restoration, and Moltres can't move. Not too thrilling, unfortunately. I could maybe try to go for a freeze. It's not sunny right now, and being fire type doesn't make you not freeze. That's just Pokemon with magma armor and all that. Or I could go for double slap. Uh, let's walk up to you. There's the bad status going away after only one turn. It is still useful. We did get a free round of attacks that I'm to worry about taking any damage. I'm a little worried about it attacking us in the front right now. Thunder Fang, okay. Bubble Beam. Man, special attack down? Couldn't have wished for anything better. Double slap, go! Only two hits, of course. Willow's putting in all the work. Working against her disadvantage is the only way to train. Can't, it's paralyzed and can't use moves. We're just stun locking it repeatedly. Maybe I'll get to actually contribute something of value here in a moment. After everyone else takes their turn, Snarl. Missed that time, dang it. Snarl was really good though, really good mighty end. Two hits again, really? been how many turns and I've actually clocked damage on it four times with a multi-hit move total. At this rate, I'm not gonna get to do anything. Famous lost words? No. Famous lost words? Who's gonna faint? Any second now. I can feel it. Special attack down again. Oh, it missed with flamethrower! <laughs> I do like how it targeted Mighty Anna, like it was getting sick of that effect, just affecting it over and over again. <laughs> Critical hit from that. Moltres took 54 damage. 
man, uh, we're rocking the house, I have to say. This is going a lot better than the Zapdos fight. In that one, I was all worried, like, oh, I didn't bring any Reviver Seeds. Crap, what am I going to do? And this time I brought four Reviver Seeds, just to be sure. Speaking of which, uh, Mighty Ennit, you are absolutely worth that Reviver Seed. You have done so much good for us. I would be so remiss to leave you behind at this point. Finally got a four hitter on that one. Discharge, 80 damage, 74, it's paralyzed again. It looks really cool paralyzed, like its wings are like glowing gold fire and all that, it looks really cool. Like it's, it looks like molten gold is what it is. Go for double slap again, good hit, there it is. I actually was the one to finish it off, who would have thought? <laughs> Team Rose Thorn's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Moltres. Moltres joined your team. You have the hair of a 70s glam rocker in that photo. That's great. It'll always have Squeeze Out as a starting rare quality, just as Zapdos did. Kind of prevents them from being totally overpowered without investing at least a little bit of resources in them. What's a synonym for Molten? Mel3! I think this proves that everything sounds cooler in Spanish. Don't mess with it. You don't have to localize everything. <laughs> Cleared that, and we got a rainbow gummy, a bronze dojo ticket, woohoo, and another bronze dojo ticket. A DX gummy, yes! Never checked my mail. Oh boy, we got two new editions of Pokemon News. Moving diagonally! Did you know that your control stick can be nudged in all directions and not just four of them? New floor tiles! There have been numerous reports of numerous wonder tiles other than, uh, what, numerous new, uh, new floor tiles other than wonder tiles and one of them is a training switch. That's, I thought this was gonna be about traps. There's a lot of new traps that could appear in dungeons that would have actually been pretty useful to tell us about. But no, no, they didn't care. God, this trashy tabloid was the thing that was reporting our innocence. It's a miracle anybody believed it. After one dungeon, I wasn't loving this. I ran into PP for it very quickly, and I think it's just better off having it as two separate moves so that we get more individual uses of moves that keep enemies away. The types also just happen to be useful in very different situations. Papa still hasn't come home. Our, Our son! son! Sorry to make you wait! Oh, uh, that voice. Get set! Ha! 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 We're witnesses to property damage. Papa! Our, Our son! son! We're, We're sorry, sorry for causing, causing you anxiety. anxiety! You have no idea. Papa! Where were you? We are traveling the world! The world is vast! There are countless Pokemon around the world and around the millions of areas! That's why you were gone? Papa, did you see all the Pokemon that aren't known to these areas? Of course! What do you take us for? Oh, of course. Papa, you're so... special. My papa is so special. <laughs> what do you take us for? Uh, 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 yes. Oh my god, we have two badasses who sound like idiots in the same place. <laughs> I'm ruining this island. Annihilate 2 is somebody who's going to be coming along with us on a lot more missions. Saying that sentence out loud just made me think, how many more episodes of this do we have left where I'm gonna have to keep acknowledging this stupid name? We're gonna give you a DX gummy for that very reason, because I want you to have a better rare quality. Plus five HP, yeah! And we're getting XP boost. Really? XP boost? I don't think Squeeze Out's very good. I, I mean, I guess plus one to all stats a little more often is still stat gaining. 
And we don't have it on Willow anymore. Multiple of the same, um, multiple of the same rare quality don't stack. Those certain ones that are related to, say, recruitment that have different effects, those do stack if they're different. I, I guess I'll take this. It's all right. Bargain's okay. But I could always just take a Pokemon with Bargain on a oh. Worthless Dungeon Run and use the Wigglytuff Orb in there. So Willow, let's roll for another rare quality with you. Plus special attack, good. Then we got some special defense. We can always use more defensive stats. Plus three to speed. And another rare quality. Best gummy we've seen. Forge a path. You can break walls as you walk, but your belly gets significantly emptier if you break walls. And you can't break any more walls if your belly reaches zero. Not a lot of dungeons have any reason to really use Forge a Path, and there's also items that do that as well, so we're gonna stick with Bargain. One more for good measure, plus one to special attack. No rare quality today, I guess we're moving out again. Well, we use a power drink on Discharge. It's a pretty good move. Anything that room nukes with same type attack bonus can definitely use a little bit more power. On same principle, Sure, double slap, raising the power of that move, raising every individual hit, that's good. Look at that. The pink is even more than what it started with. Next up, I want to go to Frosty Forest, as that's where Articuno is. Though I'm noticing that we don't have any jobs there, so I think for right now, I'm just gonna go run around, do some jobs and some dungeons that we don't really have any other reason to revisit, and I'll meet you at the end of it. Actually, it's been pointed out to me that I never went over the friend camps for Lapis Cave when catching up on all the dungeons that uh, we had when we were, that we could go to when we were a fugitive. So how about we go into Lapis Cave and I show you what those are right now. Oh, hi, water. First time I can actually cross over you thanks to having a flying type around. That's welcome. The items weren't really all that special. And this here's a warp tile to Make it so that you can get away if you cross the water and then lose the mobile ability to something or another. Yeah, it kind of sucks whenever you step on it by mistake. And I won't lie, I did. Level up four, Willow! Plus one to every stat. Plus one to every stat! Oh, no, not even. We got plus zero on special defense. Now there's a concept. Sky attack looks dramatic. <laughs> That's cool. Rainbow gummy, silver dojo ticket, dark pulse TM. Could potentially have some use on Absol since stats don't matter all that much. The ultimate dungeon. The ultimate challenge is, dungeon challenges you to do your best. Somewhere in the world, there's supposedly an incredibly tough dungeon. One must, one must enter alone at level five without any items. No one has ever completed the challenge. It is considered a test of not power, but of intelligence and wits. Sorry, Whiskash beat you to that one as well. So much for your exclusive scoop. Willow, your turn to take the gummies. Plus one to attack. Three to special defense. Rare quality time, it's Brawl. More enemies are in a room, the more powerful your moves will be. That has a battle effect, whereas the other one does not, so we'll take that just to, just to have something. And plus one to HP is the final bonus. Got two proteins, both of those are going on cam meal to power up that double slap. Next up I chose to do a few job days so we can be better prepared for what's coming up and so I can hopefully get some jobs in Frosty Forest for that trip. Oh. <laughs> Sorry Willow, didn't mean to throw a big ball of glass at your head, <laughs> didn't see ya. I didn't think that would actually hurt. <laughs> oh boy, is it the news? It's my favorite comedy show! Yay, the range of moves! Moves that have an effect of the entire room have a range of two tiles in a corridor. That's actually kind of useful. Moves like Growl can be used effectively in a corridor, but if visibility is limited to just one tile, the effect will also be limited. Man, just when I'm embracing it being a comedy, it actually does its intended job for once. Annihilate 2 can take the DX gummy and hopefully get something even nicer. Throne item boost. I'll welcome that. I like throne items. And a rainbow gummy that gives plus speed. Narrow focus. Moves in corridors will never miss. I mainly care about you room nuking, so I think I'm gonna keep the throne. Well, that affects the entire team. That's damn good.
The fact that suddenly now our moves no longer miss in a corridor, that's more useful than the throw an item boost. Give me that. Confession, I gave Zapdos that rainbow gummy on accident. That's the best mistake I've ever made. Willow can take one gummy. She's been getting all the gummies lately, so just one to speed. And the others can go to chamomile. Plus three to attack. Plus one to special attack. Friendly. I'll take rapid bullseye. Since I happen to go to Mount Steel next, I just wanted to point out that Skarmory is not available for a boss rematch. Can't recruit her. Oh boy, the news! Petcha Scarf, top popularity. Among rescue teams, there's a growing demand for equipment that is not only practical, but also fashionably appealing. The pink Petcha Scarf is especially popular. Even the Kecleon shop is having trouble keeping it in stock. If you're lucky enough to spot one, make a beeline for it. I feel so sorry for all the little kids who play this and are actually taking all of that advice to heart. I'm here to rescue the children. Nightshade. We all have great rare qualities now. You're pretty much the only one who doesn't DX gummy for you. You have thrown item boost versus notorious restoration. That can be good for a long dungeon, actually. Doesn't seem like it would be, but I think I welcome that. Put an accuracy drink on Blizzard, getting ever so closer to that 100% accuracy that I covet so much. Willow, you take the iron, you have the most weaknesses. Two carbos for you, and two carbos for me. 72, and this will be 74. I've been sitting here for three in-game days, hoping for jobs for Frosty Forest, and nothing. Haven't gotten a single one, so I think now we're gonna bite the bullet and just go for it. I guess I'll just have to be inefficient, because what I was doing already is not inefficient. Frosty Forest is a dungeon that I've been wanting to talk about again for a while now. It's my personal theory that the Frosty Forest and the uh, Mount and Mount Freeze were originally swapped in order earlier in development, and they just did it in this way so you wouldn't have more chances for Absol to permanently die. I say that because Mount Thunder is Zapdos's domain, and Mount Blaze is Moltres's domain, and yet Mount Freeze not being Articuno's domain, instead this instead just this little forest is. It doesn't really seem to match up with the kind of Pokemon Articuno is or the theming with the other two birds. Not to mention, I could see Ninetales, the finale of this entire arc, being in the Frosty Forest instead of Mount Freeze. That just seems like a much more natural place to run into a fox from Japanese folklore, you know? It's something I could see happening in Okami. Oh my god, it actually is the Yoshpet Woods. What am I saying? Um, yeah, I just feel like those two should have been swapped into order, and it makes a lot more sense from a story perspective, but I get why they didn't do it. For now, though, I guess I'll just run to the top of this forest, however that works, and not need any stupid jobs along the way. But do wants an apple, a Gen 4 Pokemon following the rule of pre-evolutions and evolutions of everything that was in the Gen 3 uh, family is here. Oh, and it knows Bargain. Ditto wants to come with. Been wanting to get one of you. I can't take control of you quite yet, but it just turned into me. Oh my god, he's going to kill me and replace me! Hey, it's what I said. His stats do remain low. He doesn't copy all the stats, so that's why his blizzard wasn't hitting as hard. But the fact that he copies moves is actually kind of interesting and makes him potentially worth having. Your arrival in this frozen forest means only one thing. You mean to challenge me. I am Articuno, the Warder of Ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might, no matter who it may be. <laughs> Chamomile, uh, you, uh, what can you do? On your turn, we will... We're gonna step forward. I wanna be within range of you so that I can uh, unleash the fury of my buttocks appendage upon thy. 
I'm an artist at finding the worst possible way to say things. Confuse wand, slumber wand. Let's wave a slumber wand and see how it goes. Good. If we can just get one turn out of you not doing certain moves, then that can be good. I'm not entirely sure what your moveset is off the top of my head. I found this very difficult data to get a hold of to see exactly what they have in each of the fights. Strangely, it was more easy to find out what they have in the first fight where they can't join you. Only two hits, really. Discharge. Icy wind. And it's slowed. Still hasn't taken its turn yet. It's still asleep. Double slap again. Two hits every time, because why would it be anything else? That's okay. Wave the wand. Feels kind of lame having a wand do the throwing for you. It's it's just always so satisfying seeing a seed get thrown directly into its gullet and knowing the fact that my butt arm did that. It's it's so satisfying. Give me the double slap. Three hits. It's better than two, I guess. Paralyze, please. No. Still not a paralyze. A freeze dry. Oh, uh, I don't have big plans for Matang, but I'll revive you because it's the right thing to do. God, now I'm going to look like a jerk if I don't revive Chimek. No. I'm sorry. I, I will look like a jerk. It's just that Matang is a lot rarer, and I'm realizing this is going to get out of hand very quickly because that Badoo is probably going to go down as well, and... I just don't want to keep doing that. Two hits twice in a row. I got a double attack at least, so it was effectively four hits, but you know, it could have been 10 hits. At least you're paralyzed. You look kind of cool when you're golden. In a gold way, not a yellow snow kind of way. Still paralyzed. Blizzard again, icy wind, metal claw. Absorb. <laughs> You're trying your best, I can see it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Didn't get many chances to attack us. It was pretty devastating when it did, though. Team Rose Thorn's courage and the fierce battle left an impression on Articuno. It's joined us. Just like the other two birds, we'll always have Squeeze Out for its starting rare quality. Uh, I guess we're doing this now, aren't we? Boreal One. Oh my god, it says bore alone. <laughs> no. I was thinking, hey, that actually sounds a little cool. Nope. Sounds way cooler in speech. Rock slide TM. That's always a good move. Can hit multiple targets in front and can sometimes flinch. And that's all three of the legendary birds. I was planning on trying to take down all of the bosses, but a lot of things happened and we ended up getting to see lots of different stuff, so I think we're gonna save that for next time. Next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX! Groudon, Rayquaza, we're coming for ya. Oh, and the tabloids. We're coming for them too. The toughest opponent of them all. See you guys then. <laughs>